Hi Libra, welcome to my channel Libra. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good Libra. This reading for today, it is a collective tarot reading session for the Libra sign. Thank you so much Libra for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Libra for being here. This reading for today, it is for you. Let us see your collective reading, Libra. What's the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Libra sign. In today's reading, Libra, we will pick up love, career, money, and general situationship. I will also look into your energy checked in. Like, how are you feeling? Your thinking process. Uh, what is your higher self is encouraging you? Then let's see what's coming towards you okay please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell what can i get for the libra sign what is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know this is for the libra sign please look at your situation we'll look at your situation we'll look at your focus let us see what is your guided message. What is the message for the Libra sign? What can I get for the Libra sign, please? Okay. What is the message for the Libra sign? Okay. You have the Magician card in here. You've got the Wheel of Fortune. And you've got the Temperance card. And so we start your reading. Okay. So you're starting the reading with a strength card, okay? Um, you have the strength card, you have the six of cups, and you've got the judgment card in here. I feel like this is a situation, Libra, where it looks like you're working with stubborn people, okay? The way you're navigating towards the following situation or could be one situation i feel like this is ongoing in your life because this is a six of cups okay you're dealing with someone or somebody or it could be recently up until this point you feel like people around you are complicated or difficult um you try to be nice you try to be kind but it's really getting into your patient you know with the five of swords in here okay a strength card you could be the you could be dealing with a leo it could be happening right now because this is like we're shifting from the Leos to Leo to Virgo season. So the Six of Cups, I think you're running out of patience with this person or situation. Okay, the Strength card, the Six of Cups in here. Oh, you're dealing with lovers or it could be you're dealing with family. Okay, because um, or it could be it, it's, it's a symbolism where you're dealing with close people you know like you're dealing with close like you're close to the following people like you know it could be your boss it could be it could be your lover because because this is a general collective so i want to you know i want to i want to pick up everything but in a nutshell <laughs> you're dealing with the person your person your situation the person that you like the person that you love they're being stubborn they're they're being difficult and it's a challenge because at the end of the day, you know, you still like them. You know, like you still have to work with them. They're still family. The strength card, the six of cups in here. Because the five of swords in here, like there's a part of you that they're losing patience. But at the end of the day, this is work. This is family. This is a lover. You're hoping for the best. You know, with the this is the advice of the universe to you is that patient, it is a virtue patient it is something that you're good at you have so much patient in the world and i would say whoever this person is i would say i would say they're kind of worth it with the lover's card in here because you wouldn't feel this way if if you haven't bonded with them for quite some time like it's a, it's a situation or it's a person where in the past we were so great I'm losing patient right now but no I don't want to lose my patient because I'm gonna lose you so you're kind of keeping your you're keeping your energy I want to be good I want to be calm and cool and collected with the judgment card in here okay yeah the judgment card look at another judgment card in here so 
your higher self is somehow your higher self is choosing to be patient if it's really irritating you or it's getting to getting into you it looks like the universe telling you walk away because you don't want to lose your patient you you it's it's a vibe where they're stubborn right now it's complicated right now but it's not going to be like this forever because the five of swords this is i would say it's not going to be forever it's gonna it's it's temporary like someone is like a brat you know with a strength card in here it's like this this could be the last two weeks you've noticed that the people that you work with that you normally get along you don't get along so it's like the face of the moon sometimes it's the full moon sometimes it's the new moon sometimes it's just a star you know so patient it is a virtue okay let's see yeah look something tells me this shall pass that you would move on from this stubborn energy do you know why i'm telling you guys that this wouldn't last because there's a six of cups you know there's a six of cups it means that the feelings that you have with them because this is the connecting energy the six of cups like you don't like them now but it's not gonna last and maybe they don't like you now but it won't last okay it won't last a day without you it's like patient with the five of swords in here okay so it is a thing like it could be the trend it could be a trend right now in your life because i'm getting the same vibe with you know with the other with the other channel i kind of pick up the same vibe with the libra reading so um it's time to be patient and i believe whoever this person's situation is with with the two judgment card in there two, two judgment card in there libra i think you're gonna have some real talk with them like I think they will initiate the real talk but not when things are like impulsive okay like um, this is where you go patient you go walk walk away if it's if it's kind of intense because if it's intense and intense it's it's gonna you know it's gonna clash and you might lose there's a lover's card in here so these are family these are lovers these are best friend these are important people in your life and we go through phases we're moody we're not perfect okay but five of swords but if they do re disrespect you that's a different story and i think you're very good at putting them you know putting them back into their place because five of swords if they do respect you you would know what to do that's a different story if someone disrespected you and you should assert yourself you're right diplomatically or simply walk away nowadays i don't have the energy to deal with angry people <laughs> Um, it shall pass Libra this reading is confirming to you that it shall pass yeah look at that ace of swords the confusing energy between you and this person situation especially recently it will solidify and your bond will go back to normal as if nothing happens so right now your patient is needed cool calm collected and basically if this area is not working go and divert your attention to somewhere else okay all right okay now the next reading you have the four of cups in here you have the four of cups you have the ace of pentacles in here it looks like you have a new opportunity or a new situation in here libra uh, but it is a place or it is a situation or it's a person that um you have a new situation you have a new situation it could lead to love it could lead to business it's a new prospect but with the four of cups and the ace of pentacles in here i don't know why you don't want to explore it for some of you guys like you're considering it but you're not a hundred percent with the four of cups and the ace of pentacles in here oh king of cups look the universe is giving you an opportunity to explore the universe is giving you an opportunity to explore a new situation a new place maybe a new person it could also be like an idea but it's something that you wouldn't consider it you know it's a you know it's something that um if if i was your friend and i ask you do you want to go you know skating i know that you would say no because i know you well you know like it's a it's a it's a it's a situation where 
somehow this person is aware that you might say no like they kind of have an idea that you would say no you don't like it you don't prefer it they respect that but they will try again and it looks like the universe is telling you well this time around your vibe would be different the way like something you don't like like you're close off or you know it's like it could be like a it's it's something that if it's something that this person knows that you would say no but they're somehow the universe is nudging this person try again with libra try again with libra so it could be an invitation it could be a sport okay it could be it could be trying a food with you know this restaurant or it could be an adventure but it could also be like a project like okay this project let's ask libra if libra would like to join but probably probably not but let's ask libra again i see you considering it or there is a different kind of vibe around the invitation or how you feel like the way it's going to be presented to you like in the past it's completely no like someone asks you let's go come join us golf for example because this looks like golf ball <laughs> this you know like the dragon looking at the golf ball in here so libra come and join us for golf you know in the past like no completely no this time around your vibe is different hmm let me go through it try like your gut feeling is telling you in the past you keep saying no why don't you try this time with the four of cups and the ace of pentacles in here you won't be disappointed so there's something that you would discover or you will rediscover yourself liking wanting enjoying exploring something that in the past it's it was a complete no okay let's see yeah ace of wands this is unexpected discovery unexpected adventure unexpected lover too so whatever it is that you feel good like you know always follow your gut feeling like your gut feeling is your compass with this one in the past it's a unanimous decision between your head and heart and soul that no i don't like it because for some of you it feels like your professional skills or personal skills it wouldn't fit you know but this time around there's so much confidence hmm let me try and you won't be disappointed it's unexpectedly falling in love with a new situation or a, like it's kind of new but you know this already okay and who knows there's a open door you would there's a red rose there's a white lily in here so who knows you might be um having or meeting more friends in there so go libra you know go out of your comfort zone yes seven of swords you won't be disappointed like you would tell to yourself i wish i would have tried this before okay but don't worry there's so much time and abundance when if it's meant to be it's meant to be so you're meant to experience this in this time frame in this timeline something wonderful is in there you would discover you would read like it's a feeling libra where you would rediscover yourself in that adventure experience or you would discover something in there but it feels good you know it feels very very good darling okay now what else is coming towards you um this is so funny because i'm kind of picking up you have to change your diet or you have to adjust your diet guys okay with the magician card i'm not a doctor but i don't know why i'm hearing the word acid reflux or diet or food if you look at the magician it looks like there's wine and food it looks like a cake and look at that it's like wine and food and fork and table uh it looks like a setup of a table so for some of you guys watch out what you eat listen to your intuition it's telling you about something you're eating adjusting what you eat okay just look into that it doesn't hurt okay um yeah something about food yeah king of swords be logical be intelligent and logical about the order of the food the food the hours of the way you eat also for some of you slow down eating digestion for some of you guys so look into that okay the will of fortune Ooh, okay 
so hmm look so with the temperance card okay so I'm kind of picking up a general vibe about this but I have to I always always I always listen to the cards and my intuition look there's something in here um it's a it's, a, it's sorry it's actually it's actually a question you know Libra where it feels like for some of you guys it's a question why are you undervaluing yourself okay so for some of you guys in terms of money because the will of fortune you have you have experience you have so many experience you're very you're, you have acquired you have acquired a lot of amazing experience personal professional okay will of fortune you've traveled the world like you're you're well versed okay you're well experienced well versed okay um the temperance card it's time for you to level up and you don't want to level up like there's something in here that you you're undervaluing yourself or something to do with there's a position it's it's connected to I don't know it's connected to work it's connected to life but you are equal to this person maybe this person is making you feel undermined but this and this person is your equal so don't undervalue yourself maybe you're forgetting about your skill set your experience but you are so amazing and you should always you should hold on to your confidence okay there's something about work competition also comparing you know there are some those there are some people in our life that we tend you know I had this conversation I have I've already experienced this where you know this friend of mine she keeps talking about her life as if I am envious of her life but I'm so contented with my life like some people talk about their life as if my life is the right pattern and you, you like they make you feel like they're, they they got everything or they make you I don't know it's it's a, it's a feeling of some people will brush it in your face that this is my life and this should this should be the life and sorry there is um the set the I got, I got distracted guys sorry there is um I don't know if it's a butterfly uh, it's evening and there's a butterfly so please don't undermine yourself don't undervalue yourself there will be a time where you have to s s stand up for 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 yourself there's something in here there's something in here that i don't know someone is talking about themselves and this and that you you guys are all equal maybe they have this maybe you don't have that but you have something that you they don't have so those people who makes you feel that way stand up stood up and say look we're all equal okay some someone or somebody's making you feel this way stand up stood up like you know you're all equal look at that it's a match okay don't lose your confidence just because of some comparison or because of this person who technically you are better than them you're much better than them okay and um this is what i have for you thank you so much guys for supporting the channel thank you so much guys for being here if you would like to further connect with me libra i would love for you guys to be part of my team so please click the subscribe button in the bell and you take care bye bye